Okay, first of all, this YouTube thing is a little harder than I thought. This is like my third take. No, I guess maybe I'm hard to please. But in any case, hey y'all. Natural state of mind here. Um, also known as Tawana. I am a Chicagoan who uh, has decided to join the ranks of natural YouTubers. I have been uh, stalking several YouTubers for the last 12 months, so I thought why not throw my channel out there, see what happens, you know. I, uh, I really enjoy um, what I get from YouTube and hopefully I, I want to be able to bring um, some of whatever knowledge I've gained to other people. So, here I am. The short of my natural hair story is I was um, natural from age for birth to 17, from 17 to 25, I had a relaxer. Um, in 2005, yeah, do the math, I'm 29 at this point in the game. We won't talk about that anymore. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I transitioned, didn't know that's what I was doing. I just decided I don't want to relax her anymore, so I stopped getting them. And I transitioned with a sewing for an entire year. And let me tell you, when I was wearing that sewing, I became addicted. I swear, every time I got my hair done, I thought I was like Beyonce or something. I was whooping my hair, all that kind of crap. But anyway, um, grew that up and rocked my fro. And it was beautiful until... And I hate to put it out there, but I started using Miss Jessie's and uh, Miss Jessie's is a devil, in my opinion. My hair became extra dry and um, damaged. I was putting too much heat on it. I was blow drying all the time, every day, um, basically, diffusing my hair and burning it out. And, um, I mean, I'm not going to put all of that on Miss Jessie because, I mean, I guess I wasn't caring for my hair properly because I didn't know how. So, my hair broke off into about that length. So, at that point in the game, I decided to straighten my hair, not relax, but constantly every two weeks go to get my hair washed, blow dry, flat ironed. And I did that for 12 months, and then my hair got to about this length where I felt comfortable enough to rock my curls again because I was scared to rock a TWA that was curly. And, um was ready so I decided to start again and my hair wouldn't revert back it was heat damage heat train whatever you want to call it it wasn't curling so I had to get my hair cut off once again to about this length and uh, that was May of this year so this is my growth from May of this year to today which is December 15th and I'm at about five and a half six inches at this point Maybe six, I think. This is me. All right. Um, can't do the back, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, so that's where I am right now, and I hope to bring you guys some interesting, cool stuff. I'm sure nothing you, I mean, same thing you've seen before, but it'll be me. So if you guys like me as a person, come check me out. Um, <sighs> my hair is heat damaged still. Uh, recently over the summer, first time since I've started this healthy hair journey, I let this girl, the same stylist who I uh, have worked with in the past, um, flat iron my hair. She damaged it, the sides and the back that are already loose. They're now barely a curl. You know, it's harder. So I wear a lot of updos and uh, other styles to help camouflage that. So my hair, all the 4C, not 4C, sorry, 4A hair grows to here or here or below this stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be rocking. So I hope you guys come check me out. I'm going to be doing hair stuff. I'll be doing outfits, fashion. I love, 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 love to shop. And recently, well, not recently, I'm sorry. Soon I'll be going on a trip to Paris and Rome at the end of the year in like two weeks. Yes. Um... And I'm going to be doing a lot of vintage shopping and a lot of secondhand stores, resale shops. Hopefully I can bring some of the outfits and things, hauls, things I've bought to you all. So, um, I hope you guys come back and check me out. Anybody who might be interested in what's going on with my hair. Uh, what is this? So, this is just me rolling with my hands, not two strand flat twisting, just 
taking a piece and rolling it back, pinning it, doing the same thing on this side, you see one, and then in the back, I just crisscross them. And then so this is, and pin, and then this is a, a twist out. So this is going on. These earrings are some of my most favorite earrings. They're from Aldo. I love them with a short hair updo kind of joint. And I bought another pair uh, just so you guys can see like what, what I'm into. Um, these earrings, I have, still haven't worn. I got from the Brooklyn Flea Market. Do y'all see that? Look at that. How gorgeous. Right? I got these from the Brooklyn Flea Market. You can see I paid three dollars for these gorgeous numbers so this is my steed this is what i'm into so if you all like vintage numbers and mixing it with uh trendy pieces come check me all right um i hope to see you all soon i hope you do a wonderful uh, on this fine december night <laughs> all right um catch you later